my fine food-loving friends to another edition of Eat Up. This week, bacon wrapped firecrackers. What am I talking about? Well, first of all, it's me, your friend Don Stugatz, and I'm back here in the kitchen where I should be as opposed to traveling all to the corners of uh, New York City area. I'm back here in the kitchen, got my apron on. Look at this, all right? So yeah, we were away last week. You guys watch, a lot of you watched the video that I did from Gino's of Tuscany out in North Belmore, Long Island. Uh, you should check them out, pretty good place. But I'm back here this week, cooking up something for you. Why? Because I don't stop, right? So this week, bacon wrapped firecrackers. Look at this. Look at you, you. I hold it up a little bit. Your taste buds are not going to be able to handle this this week, okay? Your taste buds are going to be at odds with your brain as if you were trying to decide who you should vote for this year, right? But don't worry, I got all the hard decisions made for you right here, right? So basically, I got bacon wrapped jalapeno peppers stuffed with two different kinds of cheese. Could you imagine, right? Why did I do this? Because I see that you people all post on your Pinterest all of these awesome recipes, and then I go to your houses for barbecues, none of you people cook the stuff that you post about. And I ask, because inquiring minds want to know, right? Ming, what's with all those awesome dishes that you post on your Pinterest, and I come here and I get uh, 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 some frozen ribs, right? Oh, that stuff's too hard. But let me tell you, because I don't stop trying to help you people and you don't care. I know, but I still don't stop. I'm gonna show you this week how easy it is to make something like this. That's something that makes your taste buds explode as if they were some firecrackers done by Gucci and you're in the East River of New York City, right? So let's get right to it. I got the oven already preheated to 400 degrees already, right? Uh, I got some stuff set up here. I got some sriracha. Some garlic goodness that you guys can purchase at IntensityAcademy.com. And I got a little hibiscus flowers in syrup that you guys can purchase from HoneyRidgeFarms.com. And I got that, that hibiscus in syrup because I want that little sweetness on the back end of the hot and spiciness of the sriracha and jalapeno peppers, right? I got Jen sitting over there, right? She helped me set up this week. We had to tweak the setup this week a little bit. Why? Because I need to be able to get into the oven. So I couldn't have the table sitting up against it. You know what I mean? So let me see what you guys are talking about here. All right, it looks like Mershi's here. Let's see, thank you Mersh for sharing the post. Uh, I can't get to the damn post. There we go now. Yeah, that's right, Jen. Jennifer over in San Francisco, right? Bacon, baby. Look at this, look at this bacon. <laughs> bacon is really the stuff that dreams are made of. We got a little Spanky here with us. We got my friend Vicky. Yes, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a little STD if you're swimming around in the East River. It's all right. And there's Mandy. Mandy, you're gonna come visit soon. Hopefully, I can work out Mandy's visit to where she comes in and sits here for one episode of the show when I cook, and she can enjoy some of this. And we can have some drunken hijinks. All right, so like I said this week, some sriracha, garlic goodness, some hibiscus and syrup, some spreadable cheddar cheese over here now, and some spreadable, really soft and whipped cream cheese from the city of blood, brotherly love, right? Philadelphia. Where else are you going to get cream cheese from? Scranton? Come on now. Cream cheese got to come from Philly, baby. All right, so we got some nice jalapeno peppers. All right, we'll throw it over there now. We got a mixing bowl. I got the bacon, and so I started out with a half a cup of the spreadable cheddar, about a third of a cup of the cream cheese, about two and a half to three teaspoons of the, or tablespoons of the sriracha, and we're going to put in about a, about a tablespoon of the garlic goodness. The syrup, we're going to sprinkle at the end, so don't worry about it amount. I got my Ginzu, we're ready to go baby, right? It won't stay on. I don't know why for some reason, but... Alright. 
Hey, we got DJ here. We got. Oh, Scott, there's no smoker here this time. But, but I'm going to work on a little smoker maybe in the future. What's up, Janine? Uh, let's see. Mandy's not going to be a guest co host. I'm working on something for you guys where, like, I'm going to start it next week. So it'll be a little bit of like a pilot. We're going to have people here that are going to eat the food that I cook as I'm cooking it. Just a little something different that I'm going to be working on. And don't worry, I'm not going to cut myself with the Ginzu, all right? I'm paying attention. All right, so we're going to take our peppers. I washed it already. Don't worry. They're GMO, steroid-free, free-range jalapeno peppers. They're not caged. They weren't raised in a barn. They weren't a, a, a mutation of some sort. They're not a some scientific experiment. I'll just bite into this right now and bite the head off it as if it was a baby, okay? I don't care. That's how good I know these peppers are. All right. So... We're gonna first thing we'll do is gonna cut it right in half, right? I'll cut it and then I'll show you. So if I cut it in my hand, I'll end up going to the emergency room and need stitches, and I'll have to take this plate of the jalapeno poppers with me to give to Amy and Sean. So right. of course the dish moves as soon as I go to cut it, right? Alright, so roughly in half, just like this. And I'm gonna come over here now. We're gonna take this little spoon and we're just gonna scoop it out. I don't know if you guys can see it, I'll move over a little bit so you can see. We're just gonna scoop it. We're gonna scoop these seeds out. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna dry these seeds and I'm gonna plant them. I'm gonna see what the hell comes of it. Maybe something, maybe nothing. All right, get that crud out of here. Try not to curse. Please, if I curse or do something wrong, I got uh, uh, my business manager, Kim, yelling at me, saying don't do that, so. So we're just gonna take this. She's like, you know, you make things very difficult for me to shop you around to someone as to try to get you as a client, or try to get you clients when you stop cursing. So I'm not gonna curse. Until I burn my finger on the oven or something later, which is gonna happen, because it happened today while I was making the first batch, so. Right. Yes, you're gonna be drunk, man, you don't worry. Uh, DJ, I will see you at the hospital tomorrow. All right, so pretty much now, right, I'm going to take my two cheeses and I'm going to put them together. Just, just like just like white, uh, uh, black lives matter, blue lives matter, yellow lives matter. We're going to come together, baby. I'm going to come together in this great American melting pot that is this country, right? Here we go. We can all disagree on stuff, but we're all going to come together anyway. This is just left over from the first batch. It's okay. Don't pay no attention. And we're going to take our... Sriracha sauce, let's get it all out of here. It's pretty thick, huh? That's what she said. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but on the Pandora this week, uh, 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 Postmodern Jukebox, which I happen to be absolutely in love with. I love this band. And the station on Pandora is pretty, uh, it's pretty tight, you know, got a good mix. All right, so we're gonna take our garlic goodness. Take it right over there, Jen. All right, like I said, we're gonna take a tablespoon of this. Look how good that is, oh. I keep saying it, that Michelle and her husband, they gotta change the name to garlic greatness, cause that's what it is, baby. And I probably spilled some on the table, it's all right. I should put a little bit more, cause I spilled some. I want the recipes to be accurate, you know what I mean? If someone will complain, oh, I used a little bit less than a tablespoon. You messed it up on me, blah, blah, blah. All right, we're gonna come over here, we're just gonna start mixing. We're gonna mix this up like it was some, uh, uh, I don't know, because I was gonna say something that was probably considered racist, so I won't say it. All right, and I'm gonna come over here, I'll show you guys what I'm doing over here now. All right, see, we're mixing it up. What are you guys talking about? Yeah, it's a nice batch. <laughs> All right, what's up, Renee? I'm glad you could join us this week, my my new friend. All right. See how it's nice and mixed, right? It's not too loosey-goosey. It's not too tight. It's perfect, just like your mom's vagina. It's okay after you shot out. It's all right. All right? Right now, somewhere in Palm Harbor, there's some lady going, oh. It's all right. Some of the jokes are inside. It's okay. It's okay. Inside jokes are good too. 
All right. All right, you guys get a good look at it. She's got a good idea, huh? For some complaints, I didn't get a good look at it. All right, so now I'm going to take a little sip of my wine here. Because in my house, what we do, we drink wine out of pie glasses, baby. I hope I have a little camera ready for next week when they come over. Because we don't drink out of wine glasses. Then you got to feel like get up and pour every fucking five minutes. Oh, I cursed. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to curse that time, Kim. Don't yell at me. All right. You see, I got one pepper stuffed already, right? I'm just gonna take this stuff now. I'm gonna stuff it in. Uh, where's the pepper here? We're gonna take a nice on the spoon here, like a big heap of it, right? And I'm gonna come over. I'll just do it in front of you people. I'll come closer. I could move the camera closer, but I wanted you guys to see everything was on the table. See, look, I just stuff it in, right? I stuff it in as if it was your mom on prom night. See? I'm gonna put more actually. Yeah. And again, I said, like I said, I got the uh, uh, oven preheating to 400 degrees. All right, now I got too much. So it's, right. it's not gonna hurt anything. You see? It's all just stuffed in there, nice. I'm gonna put that over there now. I'm going to take my bacon, well, I'm going to do the bacon because the bacon is really long, right? I know some of you are size queens. Oh, I need to clean my hands up over here. We're going to make believe that we're Jewish, and we're going to cut it in half. Why? Because it's going to be easier to wrap around the bacon, uh, around the pepper, rather. And then this way, each slice of bacon covers two halves, so for one slice of bacon, we're gonna cover one whole pepper. And all together, one package of bacon, we're gonna cover like, I don't know, maybe 18 halves. Somewhere between 12 and 18 halves. So about 12 peppers we're gonna get, right? Maybe six peppers, if I did the math right. So off the top of my head now. All right, and just like this, I'm gonna come over there and I'll show you how, we're how it looks wrapped and whatnot. Let me just wrap up two of them. All right. I don't know if you guys can hear the music, but man, the music's awesome. All right, and uh, I'm gonna get a toothpick in a second. How's that look, huh? That look beautiful. <laughs> I do love the long meat, baby. Look at that, huh? It's my buddy Doug Grasso. I almost ran into him over in uh, Virginia, but he was in Maryland. Cause you know, driving back down 95, I try to see, I tried to see as many things as I, as I could see, like uh, 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 the place over in uh, somewhere in Virginia is an awesome place called Suito Burrito. You guys should look that place up. It was awesome. I loved it, Suito Burrito. And uh, so we're driving back, and I saw Fredericksburg uh, uh, sign, and I immediately thought of Doug. But I know he's in Maryland, and I saw the sign it was for Virginia, so it didn't help. All right, so I'm just going to take my uh, uh, toothpick here, right? I'm just going to poke it through. We can put two in if we want, just to hold each one in. Because when these cook, the ends are going to curl up, right? If you can see on my first batch here, I'll show you this one now. You see, on the first batch, I didn't use the toothpicks, and you see how like this curled up? This was completely wrapped around, and it didn't work out so well. But I wanted you guys to see that, you know? I don't know how I'd stuff from you guys. If something doesn't work out, I'm not gonna keep it a secret, you know what I mean? And now we need a couple toothpicks over here now. Let me get a couple more. And the, when you take them out of the oven, you just gotta take the toothpicks out, so it's cool. All right? All right, so let me get the other one ready. Did I cut? No, I'm not gonna cut that pepper. I end up having more peppers than what I should, so. I'll probably make eggs with them or something this week. All right, again, cut in half because I don't like the long stuff. All right, we did that now. Go over here to our pepper. And again, we load it up and tap it in, you know, at, the, at that base. Cause I'm all about that base, about that base, about that base, no trouble. Right, so you tap it into the base of the pepper because there's that gap that's right there. When you're doing this, you'll see what I mean. You're like, 
Oh, that's what that son of a bitch was talking about, the thigh gap. It's not the thigh gap for your mom, it's the thigh gap for the pepper. Right? And I noticed too, if you start at the bottom of the pepper and come around, you could actually get a better wrap on it. See that now? No, what I do, uh, I thought I'd come too thick, but I'm gonna put a couple over here now. Now that I'm finished. Right, just like this. Like this, I got one more to do, and then I'll show you what you guys, what we're gonna do next with it. All right. And then I'll check and see what you guys are talking about, okay? All right. And I'll show you guys everything before it goes into the oven. This episode, I was actually worried about time. I'm pretty good on time this week. It's not going to take a whole, a whole 30 minutes. It's funny how those things work out, because I really thought two weeks ago when I did the... Uh, 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 the mozzarella uh, waffles that it wasn't going to take 30 minutes. Meanwhile, that was like a 40 minute show. You know what's really hard? With my big fingers, is trying to pick up a toothpick. All right. I'm going to put them on the pan and I'll show you kids what we're doing, you know. All right. Let me, before. Let me wash my hands before I touch anything. So they got bacon grease all over it now. I'm gonna have to go to Ebor soon and see Mersh, I think. I think I missed that little trick. Alright. Alright, this is what it looks like on the pan. Now you see I got like that little uh, uh, grill thing, right? That's so that the bacon grease all drips down. And I took the pan and I wrapped it with tin foil. Why? So the cleanup is a lot easier because you think I want to be bothered cleaning up this fucking mess. No, I don't. So I use the uh, uh, tin foil. So I just crumple it up, toss it, and I just take some soapy sponge and, uh, and then uh, the pan's clean. Uh, and I sprayed the whole pan down with the cooking spray. This way the stuff doesn't stick to it when it's got to come out. Look at this. Right? Beautiful. I'm going to put it in the oven. Uh, the oven is set at 400. I'm going to do that for 30 minutes. And then for the after 30 minutes, I'm going to be let it be in the broiler for 3 minutes. Why? So this way it all gets nice and nice and singed, right? So I'm going to do that right now. All right. Ooh, baby. It's hotter than your mom's vagina in there, huh? Uh So like I said, 30 minutes at 400 degrees, let it sit on the broiler for three minutes, and let me come over here now and see what you guys are yapping about. Uh, old cheese does matter, Spanky. I think I lost it all here. Nope. All right, let's see. Lisa, you heard that, right? I got a spell on you. This, uh, this uh, uh, channel on Pandora is awesome. Uh, David, that's a great idea. I, would, I used to have a, uh, I do have some bigger mugs up here now. I'll show you kids. Uh, but personalized giant mugs would be awesome. Look at this. I got this in Bear, Bear Mountain uh, Oktoberfest uh, 2005. This is like a liter right here. I could drink like four of these. I could pretty much drink a whole gallon of wine right here in this one glass. So yeah, I need some of these. That's a great idea. Thank you, my friend. I'll put that back up there. That's my biggest beer mug. But yeah, that would be great. I wonder why we didn't do that. Yep, I got my Ramon shirt on. Thank you for joining us, Tim. The cleanup's not gonna be too hard. I wish I wasn't the only one to call Tim Foil. I called it Tim Foil, didn't I? Yeah, Dave, if you look for something, we'll talk about it. We'll try to get that happening. That would be awesome. I would love some giant mugs with the new uh, Stugatz uh, uh, logo on it that my friend uh, Joey Gabs uh, did for me. Mm. All right. So, in 32 minutes, those will come out of the oven. Let them cool for about 10 minutes, even though the temptation to taste them is going to be great, but don't do it because you're going to burn your mouth. We found this out earlier today. We did a little experiment. So, but when you all finish, you'll have something that looks just like this. All right, look at that. Looks like a little penis wrapped in bacon. Oh, baby. You're going to eat this, and then you're going to go to Pulse Nightclub and dance.
Mmm. And it was delicious. So, I don't ever want to eat when I come to your houses for barbecue. The discard of stuff is too hard to make. But yet, you all put it on your Pinterest like, oh, look at what I'm doing. Look at me now. Because you're not doing nothing now. And what am I going to look at? The cheese almost fell out of that one. All right? So, hmm. It is like a spicy penis. Delicious. Who doesn't love spicy penis? Come on. In 2016, I think we could all admit, we all like a spicy penis right now and again. Hmm. All right. So that's the show this week. I want to thank all of you for watching. The nine people that are still here. That's really good. Uh, and I really, we really got to build up the audience because my business manager, Kim, keeps yelling at me. You know, I do enough to build up the audience. So I appreciate everything you guys do. Got to do more. And it's awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, we'll be back Sunday with the second episode of Beer Drinking from an exotic location of uh, Overtime Sports Bar over in the unbelievable city of Hudson, Florida. Um, we'll be back then. I hope you guys could join us then. Thank you for joining us now. Until next week. Keep banging, baby! Woohoo!